hears no sound. Whisper in the yard and turn the trees all into toys. Lay there on the ground and turn the dirt into your joy. Before you start to drift and your soul begins to scream, I just wanted to tell you that you're listening to a dream. Paces Playground. Paces Playground Podcast. Paces Playground Podcast. This is uh, a pleasure to, uh, to be talking to you, man, because uh, my first ever live UFC experience was at the Bell Center in Montreal, where you faced GSP. That gave us a great, a great spectacle, great show. Thank you, man. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it. You were determined uh, as quote unquote the heel or bad guy back then at the UFC 124. Is the role of the heel predetermined by design uh, in terms of uh, promotion for a fight? It depends, you know. Um, mostly, uh, mostly my fights, um, I'm pretty much the bad guy. Um, <laughs> but uh, for the fight with Sporting Pierre, definitely, you know, he, he's a, uh, he's a, uh, he, his character is. You know, squeaky clean, and uh, you know he puts off a good image. Um, so you know, I just wanted to for that fight to get one twenty four, build the fight as big as possible, and we did that. You know, we we sold out. You know, thirty minutes at the Bell Center, and you know, pay per view to boost the numbers, and uh, you know, it was it was, a, it was a good fun night for us. Uh, when you you say that you always come in your fights uh, as uh, as the bad guy, is that a uh, a decision to boost your career? Say I'm I'm gonna do that role that is going to set me apart from the the other fighters. That's gonna be my my marketing strategy. You know, it, it is definitely part of, part of marketing, but uh, you know, it's also uh, you know something that you, you got to do to 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 build a fight as well. You know, you got to get people interested in seeing the fights. Um, so, you know, with, with George St. Pierre and the Josh Koscheck fight back in December, you know, that's what I had to do. Um, but, uh, you know, this fight, uh, Saturday night, you know, I really haven't had much time to build the fight, you know, at, uh, with, uh, Matt Hughes, but, mm -hmm. uh, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a fight that I think that the fans, you know, don't need a build up because it's, you know, two big names fighting each other. So that's kind of a good thing. Is there a difference between fiction and reality uh, in terms of doing promo for a fight? Yeah, you know, there's a big difference. Um, you know, uh, a, a lot of guys, you know, definitely like to, you know, hype up the fight and do anything they can to, to hype it, you know. Um, but the reality of, of the whole thing is it's business and, you know, um, fighters know that you know it's business and and you, you gotta you know put your put put yourself out there sometimes just to you know uh create a storyline or a buzz about about the fight so people definitely want to tune in taking the example of your last fight in montreal against george saint pierre do you think that career-wise a courageous loss might be better than an easy victory well that fight was a, a long time ago and you know uh I think that uh, you know it's definitely a learning lesson, and uh, you learn from from all your fights. You know whether you win or you lose, and um, definitely learned some stuff from that fight uh, with George back in December. And you know, right now I'm focused on uh, you know fighting my Hughes um, Saturday night. And, uh, you know, I just can't wait for the opportunity to get back into the octagon and, and uh, show uh, everybody what uh, what, I, what I'm about. Just before we get to your preparation for your fight against Hughes, maybe a quick word on the situation with Nick Diaz at the UFC 137, because you were in that situation a long time ago, uh, dealing with the pressure of a main event, uh, dealing with the pressure uh, to face the welterweight champion GSP. So, what do you think happened in the mind of Nick Diaz? Did you know the guy, or? Uh... Yeah, I don't really, I don't really know Nick Diaz that well, so um, yeah, I really can't comment on what what uh, he's going through as a, as a person. But um, yeah, I definitely know that. Uh, You know, when you're required to do so much press, it, it sometimes can get overwhelming for a fight. And, uh, you know, especially being a main event, and this is his big first main event, you know. So I'm sure that, uh, you know, there was some pressure on that and, you know, pressure on uh, uh, traveling a lot. And there's a ton of media involved. And, and it's it's actually, there's two jobs when you, you're, you know, when, you, when you're the main event. It's one, you got to train and fight. And uh, two, you got to do PR and press. And, uh, you know, I'm just... Uh, Probably assuming that uh, you know it got a little overwhelming for him. You're coming back in a big way against Matt Hughes, a well-rounded guy. How do you prepare against a uh, well-rounded guy as Hughes is? Well, um, 
you know, that Hughes is, a, is I believe, is a fun fight for me. Um, you know, I believe that I'm better in every, every area. Um, that that uh, you know, as a fighter, and to believe that uh, you know, I just can gotta go out there and prove that I'm a better fighter and and have some fun with it. So um, I'm not really concerned with what he brings to the table. I'm concerned with how I'm gonna you know react and how I'm gonna fight this fight. Um, you're coming off a loss against GSP. He's coming off a loss against BJ Penn. Do you think that's going to add into the intensity of the fight? Yeah, I definitely think that uh, you know, you know, nobody wants to lose two two in a row. So um, I definitely b believe that uh, you know we both got a lot to lose on this fight. And um, you know, I know I know what's at stake here for myself, and I'm coming out and uh, I'm prepared for 15 minutes of, of hard fighting. And I'm sure he is as well. So um, just looking forward to the opportunity to get back. You know, it's been, a, been seven months since December since I got a chance to fight. Uh, I'm hungry right now, and I just want to, you know, make this wait and, uh, and and win the fight. Well, Josh, thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to be talking with us. And we'll be looking forward to talking to you again, sir. Thank you, sir. This is Playground Podcast. Find it, hear it on SoundCloud and iTunes. Comment, react, patrol via Twitter at Playground Pod, Facebook.com slash Playground Podcast. Email Playground Podcast at Hotmail.com. PlaygroundPodcast.com.